Yeah, bring a foot on the hip to uh, make sure that you keep a distance. And up from here, once you uh, pop on this leg over for lasso, we're gonna do a deep lasso. So you see my foot back here wrapping around, my knee is in front of his shoulder. And watch, my grip is not on the back of the thigh, of the back of my own thigh, but it's in front of my thigh. So it's really swelled in, swelled in. Now from here, this foot is gonna come outside his legs. Even if he gets my foot inside, I'm gonna manage, you know, to bring the foot out. I need to manage to bring the foot out. You notice I'm on, on my toes here. Once I'm on my toes here, I'm going to do a fast hip switch. So I elevate the hips and I turn all the way to the other side from here. And when I do that, I kick this foot out so it doesn't get stuck out of the hip wall pretty, uh, pretty hard. And I can come here and immediately from here, guys, uh, you got to be careful that he comes sit here. Speak with me a little bit right there. I don't want him to underhook here because he can come back up. So the moment this happens, immediately pick for the underhook. So when you try to come up, you have control over the body. Okay, you get the position to the side control. One more time. When I get right this way. Double sleeve, pull on the hip, pommel under, deep lasso, hand in front of the thigh, foot outside, turn, skate your leg, immediately under hook the power for side control. Okay? Okay. Double sleep, foot on the hip, turn your body so it's easy to lasso, go deep. If you notice my foot behind his back, my knee in front of his shoulder, my hand goes all the way in, foot outside, lift and turn. Skip your bottom leg, under hook, side control. Now get this foot on the ball of the foot. Then heel up, there you go. Now pull that arm further in, arm further in, there. And now lift and turn. Uh huh. Let's give your right foot. You see, it's a lot more powerful. So, guys, now we're going to work on the same scenario, but when your opponent gets down and heavy and moves away from you. Okay? And what do you do from there to create a sweep? Same entrance. I go deep. My foot is outside, but he moves away from me. I cannot turn him from here. Okay? So, what I'm going to do from here, look, I'm going to bring the foot in front of the thigh. Okay, and now what I'm going to do from here, I'm actually, I'm going to push and I'm going to roll in the opposite direction and I'm going to push and I'm going to turn him that way. And when I come up here, I catch the elbow so we don't get into a single leg situation. If I don't catch the elbow, immediately you're going to single legs me. So, I still got to sweep, but if he's got a good single legs, you know, it's going to be a battle for me that I don't want to fight. Okay, one more time. Same entrance, guys. I go deep and he moves away. So I, ca I cannot turn it that way. You see the, the, the physics here do not allow me to do that. So what I do, this foot comes onto the hip and I'm gonna kick him the opposite way here. And now from here, look, I catch the elbow. The other knee comes in front of his hip. So I'm trying to prevent, you see I stay low in hip and I get a swallow the arm. And I come to the mouth. A lot of times from here you have arm marks. I don't wanna address the submission right now. I wanna address the sweep and a good control when you're on top. Okay, one more time. Okay, so we're gonna turn around to make that happen. The coach is gonna move around too, so he can look straight out. The blast of he's moving away. You see I have my foot, my other foot is on the hip, so I'm gonna kick and push, okay? And look, you see this knee here in front of me, he put, I don't want him to get underneath my knees with his own knees. And then I pull the arm out. Well, thanks from here, you see, I can start attacking this arm. It's all the different attacks that I have available from here. From a simple reverse arm bar right there. To, you know, bringing the foot over. Or just going, you know, triangle, you name it. There's multiple, omoplate, right? So, but I want you to get comfortable with that one-two combination, okay? They put, uh, by the way, guys, if they close the lasso here, one thing that you can always do, like I said, you see how he's shrugging it? You can put the foot here, push it, and get the lasso. They close in, foot in front, push, lasso. You see how if you want to have your lasso because you like your lasso, how to create the space for the lasso? Yeah? Okay, good. So this is uh, one of the instances here that we're going to be working on. So now what we, uh, the situation that we're gonna do from here is that 
we're gonna do a little grip switch to arm drag position. So let's say he, uh, you know, whatever, he can be pinning my leg, I lose this grip, whatever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna bring this arm in here, okay? And now, once, I, once I'm here, I'm already on. This actually right now, in IBJJF rules, this are, already gives me two points right here. Yeah, yeah because I can, I, you know, I basically have his back even though I don't have the hooks. If I want the hooks, I need to put my other foot here inside, and then both have hooks inside, four points, right? But this already gives me two points. A lot of times they're gonna be posturing up from here. Yes, but I'm already here, right? Did you see this position that I have? I'm like this. I'm like this, and I'm pinning the arm down, so all my weight goes into that sleep grip, so I can come up. A lot of times from there, they're not gonna let me deep, take the back, so I just do this like a double leg from the side. Boom, swallow the legs, and pass. I mean, and uh, smash, you know, pressure passing. One more time. Two things I want you to work, are we square up, Coach? Yeah. yeah. So, two things I want you to work, same setup. Come on in, yeah. So you see now he's closing the last one. So look, put the foot in front, it's not a kick, it's a push, okay? You don't kick in the sport of jiu-jitsu. Push, you see? And now, leg is in. Okay, you understand? And now let's say he's grabbing here or whatever, he's spinning now. So what I'm gonna do from here, look. I'm gonna bring the leg out, and I'm gonna pin down. So all my weight is onto that hand, right? So I don't care if he, at this point, you see the arm is across me. I just come up. Okay, if he postures up, posture up here. I can still come up, I can grab the back foot, and I keep putting pressure. You see, I don't let go of this sleeve. I don't, you know, because by having this sleeve, it's very easy for me to reverse the position into the sweep. One more. Closes, push, get in, grabs, whatever. I can here, get the leg out. Here, it's like an arm drag. Get heavy. I don't let go of that grip. I'm heavy because that dictates that I can be here right now. Otherwise, this guy's gonna explode out and it's gonna be yes. So here you see, and I can follow him. And then I can just from here catch one the far leg and then just drive down. And then you gotta sweep and you're in a good position to pass. Okay? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Push that leg away, you see? You can control, certain control over that leg. So at this point, he can escape the lasso leg, switch the grip, yes, actually. And then he just can come up. If you stay there, he's gonna catch the back, but posture up a little bit, right? And then he's just gonna come up and drive it down. So with a switch like that, because now you're gonna enter into that situation. All right, so the switch needs to be a little more dynamic from that perspective. So once you're already here, he's feeling his leg, so I'm not able to do that. I'm gonna cut this leg out. And before I let go, I'm on the other hip. Now, so here, look, all my weight. It's difficult for me to move that arm because I'm basically pinning that arm. And now I just can come on top, and then at this instance, if it stays there, I will put both hooks. If he postures up, it's when you start grabbing the ankle and then careful with your feet, right? That's right. You're doing the same situation here. Push to create the space, get in here, and now what happens here, the same thing, he's grabbing the top leg here, and you can do either two on one or do a transition, right? Every time you do a grip transition, I cannot let go of the grip and grip with the other one. There's one grip, I grab, once I secure the other grip, I let go of the other grip, because otherwise that arm is gone. Everybody clear on that? Okay, so from in this instance, when I open this up, a lot of times, if you have the ability to catch the arm here, that's an arm bar right here. Okay? So I don't want you to diminish that possibility because it works. Okay? And, you know, if you have a good grip, right? You have, the, the whole idea here is that you have a, your grip is tight, right? So once I do this transition and I'm starting to escape this leg out, and I have this grip here, and he's trying to figure out whether he goes here or, or here, and the arm is extended, all I need to do is come here, and I set up right there really fast, okay? Because the arm is like this. So it actually is also kind of a shoulder lock, not just the elbow lock, okay? So I want you just to review that position just for a moment, because why not? I mean, you don't have to do any more complexity. 
like this to reverse, bam, done. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, okay, one, two, three. So guys, now we're gonna dress what to do when you're in the lasso position and your opponent gets his knees off the floor and stands up, okay? So, let's say we start on the floor and once I get the lasso in, he decides to stand up, okay? So, this guy doesn't want my foot behind his back, okay? Because this is where I can start doing, I can still do these sweeps from here, okay? Or sweeping from here the other way, like when he was with his knees on the ground. So a lot of times what they want is my foot in the back, in front, in between his legs. Boom! Okay, so don't let go. This is a great position. So you see I'm lassoing his left arm, and I'm, I'm the lahiba in his far leg, okay? His far leg. Now watch, this foot comes on the ground like this. So my knee's pointing up. Now from here, I like to grab the transition to the lapel, the gola, here in the other side here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a little sit up. I'm going to bring him into me. You're going to roll here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring him into me. And guess what? We're in the same position as the first, as the first sweep, right? So I got to be very cognizant that he doesn't underhook me before I do. So the moment he's touching me I'm already shooting the underhook transition and establish the side control at the top position. Good grip here. So guys, this is you from standing. That's good. Look, guys, when you do this, make sure that look, this grip is not going anywhere. It's super tight. You see where my knuckles are in front of my thigh? Uh, my toes are wrapping around the foot. I'm latching onto him. Okay? But still, an athletic guy like Justin is going to move that foot. Yes! This is very common. Start swallowing the legs. So from here, like, foot on the ground, stay tight, sit up, hook the far leg, bring it into you, and kick and release the leg. Control. Okay, so now you have that possibility when your opponent stands up, what to do if you want to still, still go with the last one, okay? Okay, so let's say I have uh, Justin here puts me on a lasso position. So there's a few things that I don't want. I don't want him controlling this leg because he can make me fly. If he underhooks under or grabs his foot, he can make me fly that way, okay? So I'm mean, immediately, the moment he wraps a lasso here, what I want to do is I want to count move away and kind of start collapsing here a little bit his legs. From this instance also I want my elbow coming out. You see my own knee here. If I can manage, you see his foot is outside in the lasso, and I can manage to collapse that foot and come here. You see I have my knee and my elbow, now it's easy for me just to break the grip here and pass. A lot of times from here, you know, when he they lasso here, you know, a lot of times from here, yes, he has a tight grip, like he's not letting I control the other leg. And what I can do from here, once I clear, look, I drop my shoulder here, and I manage to, for, for him to prevent the previous pass, he's going to kick the leg this way, right? So come on back in, Justin, you understand? The previous pass, I passed this way. And in order for him to not get passed this way, the moment he feels this one, he's going to kick there, right? So watch. Go back again one more time. When he feels that, look, I do... The X pass. Boom. You see, I hop over the other leg as soon as I get under the lasso leg. Okay? And the other one is that if he does a deep lasso, yes, if he does a deep lasso, and I manage to clear his leg so he doesn't do the reverse on him on that leg or whatever, and I manage to get deep here and I can turn sideways, you see, I clear the knee leg and then I start extending my fingers. And stretch the arm and flatten him out and pass. Okay? So in either case, passing the lasso in a good lasso, in a good lasso guard player, it's not gonna be easy. You're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work and you know you're gonna need to know where to go like this. Otherwise you're gonna get stuck and possibly swept. Okay? So now that I think so now that we went over this. Now you play 